Hello traders, this is Liza from ninjaaddons.com and in this short video tutorial, I'm going to explain what we call the guidelines that you can set for the bullish and bearish count individually. Let's start. First, we are going to load the Elliott indicator on the chart. I'm just setting the swing strength to big so it can be easier to see the different levels. You can keep other parameters to default value and click OK to load the indicator on the chart. Now just before we start, remember that all my explanations are for the bullish counts. This is for a better understanding, however it is exactly the same for the bearish count. To configure the guidelines of the bullish count, just open the bullish count panel and select the guide tab. As you can see here, there are two sections. The one at the top gives you the possibility to configure the font, font size, transparency and thickness of the guidelines. Since this is related to the display only, it doesn't require you to reload the chart. The changes are visible immediately. The second section at the bottom is where you will actually control the display of guidelines. Now as a reminder, let me explain what are the three different kinds of lines that you can display. There are the validation lines, the limit lines and the invalidation lines. Let's start with the simplest one, the invalidation lines. As you may know, wave 2 and wave 4 are valid only if they do not retrace too much. For wave 2, it means not retracing wave 1 entirely. For wave 4, it means not overlapping the top of wave 1 too much. You can see them on the chart, coloured in red by default starting by invalidation tag. When you trade, displaying these lines helps you to see where a count or wave will be invalidated. It doesn't mean you should place your stop at this level, but it means that if your trade is based on a count, if an invalidation line is broken, then the count will be reset. Now let's see the validation lines. As you may know, wave 3 and wave 5 are impulsive waves. Therefore, they have to reach at least a certain price level to be considered as valid and then make the count enter into a corrective wave. This price level is the validation lines, in green by default. When you trade, displaying these lines helps you to anticipate the next step of the count. Finally, let's talk about the limit lines. This is related to the ABC subwaves and is a bit complicated at first, but simply said, this is where the count will enter into a new impulsive wave or stay in the current corrective one. There are two levels that you can configure in the ABC panel. The limit of subwave B and the limit of subwave C. If this limit is broken, then the count will enter into a new wave. If it is not broken, it will stay in the same wave. This is the frontier between the two kinds, corrective or impulsive, waves. This price level is the limit lines, in blue by default. When you trade, displaying these lines helps you to anticipate the next step of the count. The validation, invalidation and limit lines should be on display only when you want to see where these levels are, as a guide, but in our opinion should be hidden most of the time. Having a lot of information available doesn't necessarily mean having to see them constantly, but rather only when it is necessary. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninjaaddons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching, until next time.